Hello everyone. Today we will see the prismatic joint. That is the second joint we are going to see here. So prismatic joint. So how to use the prismatic joint while making a mechanism? Okay. So and what is the purpose of it? So we will see that. Again we will go to the digital mockup. So digital kinematics, and then you can see the second joint that is a prismatic joint so again i will show you one image An image here, i will show you the prismatic joint so again so this is the this is the prismatic joint made here so in the above situation if the edge of the block happens to be translating along the edge of supporting plane so this is the supporting plane and this is a block or any straight line in the plane without possibility of rotation it becomes a prismatic joint so it this block is moving with this edge of this block and edge of this supporting plane so this is the translating in the direction by making contact with these edges okay so this is a prismatic joint so again here all the three rotational degree of freedom and the tooth the tooth two to three translational degree of freedom are removed by the prismatic joint so only one degree of freedom is left here that is a translation so this com the command for this joint involves the translation so this block is translating this bl block is translating on this supporting plate here so to make this we can we use this prismatic joint that is a sliding motion for sliding motion we are using this so i will go to the katia so again i will close this and i will start with the part design we will first create one two parts so i will just provide a name so let's say it is a supporting plate and then i will create one supporting plate here so just go to sketch sketch on the top plane Swap it. I will create one rectangle here. So let us say it is 200 mm, and the length will provide that is 300 mm, and then exit the workbench, and with a pad, we'll add a material here. So let us say it is 20 mm, and then click OK. So in this way, our supporting plate is completed. Now I will save this. Go to Save As. I will create a, another folder here for a prismatic joint. Prismatic joint, and then save the supporting plate here. Now I will create another part. go to the mechanical design part design and now i will create a block here similarly i will sketch on the top plane so the orientations and now i will create a block here and i will give the dimension let's suppose this is a 50 mm And provide the same dimension for this also. So just this also 50 mm. And now exit the workbench. And again, I will add a material here. So let's say it is 40 mm. So this is our block is also created. So again, I will save this. Just save this block. Now we need to make a assembly of it. so just go to the assembly go to the mechanical design and assembly design now again call the parts with this option that is existing component select this product and then go to the prismatic joint and first select the supporting plate and open it so again i will first fix this plate with this constraint tool bar so just fix this Select on this. Again, you can check the constraint here with this option. 
supporting offset and component degree of freedom again here it is showing a no degree of freedom left now i will call the another part just go to the existing component and select the product and then select the block again with the manipulation i will move that part just select this and move this now here i will provide one constraint here that is a coincidence constraint sorry contact constraint i will provide here just select this face and select this face and update this again i will provide one more constraint here again i will provide a constraint contact constraint just select this face and select this face and then again update this I will go to this constraint here. I will first delete this. And now I will create one another constraint. Select this and select this face. So sometimes there is a problem with taking construction. So instead of providing this i will provide offset constraint here so just select this and this face provide a zero value select sorry i have not selected that bit command at the time of this so select this and this face Delete this. And again, make a constraints for this. I will just simply coincide these two edges here. Select this edge and this edge, and then update this. And now, I'll again make one constraint here. And click OK. Just select a contact constraint here. Select this face and select this face and update this. So now our it is constraint. Now again it is having a degree of freedom left, but we will create that in mechanism. So just now our assembly is ready. Now again go to the digital mockup. Then go to the DMU kinematics. Now I will again delete these constraints here. Now I will first fix the part. The first step is to fix the part and create a new mechanism. Yes, I will keep this name as it is and select the fixed part. So now you can see the cons cons constraint is provided in the tree also. So this is the fixed part, and now we have to create a prismatic joint here so again go to the prismatic joint go to the prismatic joint now again here the line 1 line 2 and plane 1 plane 2 is asking so just select a line 1 that is about what edge you want to translate that along which you want to translate this block so just select first the line 1 for this supporting edge now to select this i will first hide this and with a visible space i will select this face so similarly i will go to this part and then select the plane so i will select this plane and then go to the visible space and now select this plane and keep this as a length driven again i will swap this length driven that is the motor is provided to this plate so, uh, to this block as this is having open degree of freedom okay so now i will okay this so you can see the message here again the mechanism can be simulated and now click okay so this will be created in the tree also now again i will swap this and now hide from this so that it will come this come to this part okay 
so now our mechanism is created again we can sorry we can simulate this so i will first just create the simulation with a mechanism 1 and now i will first reset this and now i will drag up to this and now i will again dragging this up to this okay and now i will insert this so from here you can play this simulation so i will again change this interpolation step and now i will i mean backward and then play this so you can see that this block is translating along this so you can see change this loop also again play this and then change this loops so in this way you can create a simulation of this prismatic joint again i will click okay again to create a replay that is to save in the tree just go to the comp compile simulation generate a replay here and then select a time step i will select 0.04 and then click okay so this will be saved in this tree you can double click on it and you can play this from this also to again to save the video file you can generate the animation file just select the video codec and then you again need to select a time step and then provide a location for this i will just provide a location that is a prismatic joint again this is a video and then save this file and then click okay so again this video will going to create there so if you want to play that file just go to that folder just go to that file and only you can see this in the vlc player so you cannot see in the windows media player just i will close this so in this way we can create a prismatic joint for a sliding motion please subscribe my channel and like my videos if you have any queries comment below i will definitely try to solve each of them so thank you thank you for watching my videos